we wanted the spacesuits to be very, very firmly based on existing spacesuit technology that people have seen and believe in. The spacesuit has a NASA aesthetic that's a little bit more modern, a little bit updated, as opposed to a slick sort of sci-fi aesthetic. You couldn't identify it as something that comes from one of the NASA missions, but you feel like it's of that world. Because we wanted to always be tapping into that history. We wanted to always be seeing a classic sort of astronaut figure, not too futuristic an idea of them. In conceiving it and doing the first sketches, even in sourcing the fabric, everything, it always was like, what is really useful about this? So everything on the suit, to me, has a purpose. Nothing's really decorative. Like, there's pockets for things to go in. The backpack is functional. The clips in the front are functional so the backpack can hook in. Like, even the padding along the edge is like, it's there, bonk, in case they knock themselves. I constantly had to check myself on, you can't go too slick. It also helps, like, we were all working in the same production office. You don't go in a direction that no one else is going in. You're all kind of in sync. In fact, when we were first developing the suit and we wanted portions of it to be quilted, we had a piece quilted, and both Nathan and, and Chris were in there, and they were like, they liked it. And Nathan was like, I want that on the set. It's all over the set. It makes the costume and the set tie in so well together. They made our astronaut costumes a little slicker, a little slimmer, a little more fitted. It seems more functional than a, than a modern NASA suit. Thinner in the arms and near the joints so that you can still move around in them. We realized very early on that we weren't going to pressurize the suit. And that's what gives you that big, massive, puffy quality. But we wanted an implication of pressurization. So that's why it has bulk to it. There were moments when emotions were running high or things were difficult. Wearing a suit, that wasn't the easiest thing in the world to, to wear. Really, I thought it helped the performances. The first time I tried on the suit in my, in my fitting, I, I was surprised by how heavy it was. These things weigh 30 to 35 pounds. It was heavy and it could get very, very hot, especially when you were strapped into the rigs that you had to wear for the zero G stuff. Thanks. As we shoot on these warmer stages, we have a uh, cooling shirt that goes on underneath the suit. These fantastic undershirts that had tubes and you could put ice water through them to keep them cool. That's very similar to what the real astronauts wear. It can get hot. the development of the helmet. It was a painstaking process. People have to breathe in this. That's how the air goes into the helmet. There's a fan in the backpack. It goes up the tubes, and then air comes down in here so the actors can breathe. We had microphones in the helmet so that the actors could communicate, and we actually recorded their voices through the helmets. That worked extremely well, so that even when we were out in very challenging circumstances, you know, out on a glacier, and huge winds and so forth, the actors could speak to each other very clearly, as they would be able to in real spacesuits. You hear everyone, and also, if you're in the helmet, you can hear Chris give some direction in the ear, you know, and work that way. And what was fantastic for us was also that, you know, we, we've been shooting with these enormous IMAX cameras that are incredibly loud and, and very difficult to use for dialogue scenes for that reason. The helmets meant that we were able to shoot dialogue scenes suddenly with these loud cameras. Which really allowed us to not have to do any kind of, you know, dialogue replacement at the end. It was something you had to work really, really hard to be able to wear and not kind of fall over in or pass out in or any of those things. But as Matthew and I kept saying to each other, this is tough, but we look cool. <laughs>